Hi guys! Today I'm reviewing the Ninja Smart Screen Duo Blender. This is a vacuum blender which removes oxygen before blending to retain color. Every blender company will tell you that vacuum blending retains more vitamins than standard blending. That is up to you to believe or not because I can't test the nutrition claims. There's supposed to be less foam and separation in your drinks compared to standard blenders. I have reviewed the Kubings vacuum blender and there was definitely less foam and separation. Ninja sent me the sample so I can tell you what I think of it. With the pitcher on the base, the unit measures 17 and a half inches tall. The unit is seven inches wide and eight and a half inches deep. The cord length is about 30 inches. The Ninja comes with the motor base. It's 1400 peak watts, has suction cups on the bottom. The pitcher that holds 72 ounces. The maximum amount for liquid is 64 ounces. There are markings in milliliters on the side. A stacked blade to be used with the pitcher. It sits right in the middle of the blender on the spindle. The pitcher lid fresh back pump, six AA batteries that go in the pump. These are included. The pump has a twist off reservoir on the bottom. There are two single serve cups, blade, and a lid if you want to take the cup to go. An instruction manual and quick start guide with 10 recipes for smoothies. The touchscreen has the power button. There are five auto IQ programs which are preset and stop automatically once the cycle's finished. Smoothie, ice cream, puree, frozen drink, and extract. Using the single serve cup, choose smoothie, extract, or frozen drink. Using the pitcher, choose smoothie, ice cream, puree, or frozen drink. The unit recognizes whether you put the pitcher on the base or the single serve cup. There are three manual settings, low, high, and pulse. To use pulse, just touch and release. The low and high options will run until you manually turn it off. The pump is what you use to remove oxygen before blending. Vacuum blending is for smoothies, soups, and dips, but not for frozen drinks and ice cream programs. Instead of using batteries, you can purchase a Ninja AC power cord from their website. To use the pump, unscrew the cap, take the cover off, and put the batteries in. Alternate the positive and negative. There's a tiny little slot here where the tab um, on the cover goes. So stick that in first and just press the cover down. On the pump, there's a little arrow that matches with the arrows on the cap. Match up the unlock arrow and turn to lock. To use the pump on the single serve cup, lift this tab and put the pump right on top. It just sits on top. While it's vacuum sealing, there will be a white light here and a green light when sealing is complete. Then you press this button and lift the pump off. After you finish blending, pull up gently on this tab until the hissing sound stops to release the vacuum seal. Don't pull out the tab. To vacuum seal using the pitcher, put the pump here on top of the lid. When it's finished sealing, press the arrow and pull up the pump. When you're done blending, pull up gently on this tab to release the seal. Again, don't pull the tab out. With this Ninja, you cannot blend hot liquids. When you're finished using the unit, unplug it. There is cord wrap on the back of the unit. All the containers, lids, and blades are BPA free. The containers are dishwasher safe. The lids, blade assemblies, and twist off reservoir are top rack dishwasher safe. The base can be wiped down with a damp cloth and dried. You can wash the twist off reservoir. Don't wash the pump or get it wet. When you first get the unit, wash all the parts in warm soapy water and dry. First, I'll make a smoothie using the pitcher. To take the lid off the pitcher, press the lid release. The handle goes up. You can just pull it off. Put the blade in the pitcher. I'll add one banana, an orange cut up, some kale. Just tear it up into pieces. Frozen mango chunks. And some water. When you load the blender, fresh fruits and veggies go in first, then leafy greens, liquid, dry ingredients like powders or seeds, and ice or frozen ingredients last. Cut up the fruits and veggies into about one inch pieces. Put the lid on. There's an arrow on the handle that matches the arrow on the lid. Push the handle down. We'll use the pump. Put the pump on top of the lid. Just sits there. You don't have to hold it. Press the button on top.
The pump is very loud. When sealing is finished, the pump shuts off automatically. Press the release button and just pull up. There's a lock picture here on the base. Press the power button. I'll select smoothie and the blender will run automatically. Turn off, pull the tab gently, press the lid release, and we can take the lid off. There is a pour spot on the lid that you can use for thinner smoothies and drinks. Remove the blade before pouring out. It's a nice green color. The kale's a little gritty. There are no chunks. It tastes good. Everything's broken down. But I wouldn't say it's completely fine and silky smooth. Because of the vacuum sealing, there's very little foam and no separation. I'll leave this aside and we can check on the separation in a while. As you know, I'm not a fan of kale except kale chips, which are absolutely delicious. I'll put a recipe down below if you want to try it out. Mango and pineapple are my favorite fruits and they do a great job of masking the harsh taste of kale. So this is a good recipe for those of you who don't like kale. It's been about three hours and the smoothie still looks the same. There's no separation and the color is still vibrant. Next I'll use a single serve cup. Unscrew the blade. It holds 20 ounces. There's a max liquid line so don't fill above that. There are also markings in milliliters. I'll add some cut up orange, apple, and red beets. These are very hard, so I wanna see how this blender breaks the beets down. One very small beet. Add some water. And a few ice cubes. Screw the blade on. We'll vacuum seal it. Close the lid, put the cup on the base, and just turn it to lock. Power on, and I'll touch extract. This ninja blender is loud like most ninjas. Turn it off, twist and pull it up. Pull up the tab. Take the blade off. If you want to take this to go, just screw on the lid. The color's gorgeous from the beets. There's only a little bit of foam. There are no chunks. Everything's processed. The beets, apples, oranges, everything's broken down, um, but the beets are a little bit gritty. Carrots, beets are very fibrous, and you will get this grittiness when blending with most blenders. It's a very refreshing drink, tastes pretty good, and the texture is acceptable considering the price. Some other vacuum blenders are more than double the price of this Ninja, so it wouldn't be a fair comparison. This Ninja is powerful, but it's just not gonna give you a silky smooth texture compared to more expensive blenders. Looks clean. If there's any water or liquid in the reservoir, you can wash and dry it. Run the pump for 10 seconds to clear any fluid. Now I'll use the pitcher to make hummus. Drain chickpeas and garlic. Little bit of ground cumin. Salt. Little bit of cayenne. Lemon juice. Turn it on and pulse.
I opened the spout to stream in some tahini and olive oil. The spout is fine for adding in olive oil and water, but for the tahini, I'm just gonna open the lid up and add it. You can use a low or high setting. You have to stop it manually, scrape down the pitcher. Take out the blade first. The hummus is smooth, creamy, and it was done pretty quickly. You can see a little bit of separation in the smoothie made in the single serve cup. The smoothie made in the pitcher is still perfect. There's no separation at all. If you're looking for an affordable vacuum blender, this Ninja is a decent choice. If you want to try it out, I've put a link in the description below. If you want to see how the Kuvings vacuum blender performed, I'll put a link to that video in the description below. As always, I do hope this review was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews.